Hi, this is Chris, mentor for Team 599 Robodox. This is another video regarding the uh, Mentor Bobcat that I built over the summer. I wanted to talk a little bit this time on how some scripting modes can be used to augment the manual control and minimize the workload. Uh, normally when you have a joystick like this there's usually two required, one, to op one for an operator to handle the driving another for the operator to, use to, to uh, manipulate the lifts, etc. Uh, you can break, break it down to a one operator job if you use automation. So, uh, give you an idea of the controls that are used with this robot, it's pretty simple. We have uh, simply arcade driving and there's only one lift command and this will automatically transfer a lift input to the proper set of uh, slides based on the limit switch activation. Uh, we can separate these functions. If I have to hit this button, I can I can move just the upper lift, or if I go this way, I can move I can move the bottom lift independently. If I hit this button again, I'm back into a synchronized portion of it. Okay, we also have uh, buttons to uh, open the gripper. Uh, we can open it, close it, or drop one. That's the choices. I've also got a button here for a uh, line tracker. If I hit this, it'll go in line tracking. And uh, we have a button here, 8, which is used a lot. This is, disconnects any script that's running. So I just hit that and everything, and then you're back in the manual mode. Uh, also have some buttons here for uh, a uh, spacing servo. So, uh, normally if you want to pick up a tube, for instance, you have to lift this to just the right height and sometimes you got to guess at it. So it will be just above a tube. You run forward on a tube then you have to open a gripper, drop it down, close a gripper, and then lift it back up to the right height again and you're ready to go to pick it up. Okay, so this can be automated with a script, no problem if you do it a lot. So let's start it again. To get to the right height, I, you can just press one button and it automatically goes to the height. And uh, the next function is open grip and bring it back up. So that'll pick something up. And then when you want to score, we hit a, another button. It'll bring it up to the right height for scoring. Okay. And when it's done, it automatically disconnects, puts me back in the manual mode. Now the nice thing about this is that uh, when the script is running, it takes control only of the motors that are needed to operate that script. Uh, in, the, in, this, uh, in, in this particular script that will pick up this, there's a gripper, a gripper servo used and there's also some lift motors used. Uh, when, when those functions are called by the script, they automatically set a flag that says auto gripper or auto lift and these in turn will inhibit the joystick on those particular axes and the rest of the functions will operate normally. So that's a very nice feature. So let's see how we can do this. Uh, I would go to the lift and then I can drive forward, hit that, and there will be another one around somewhere and I can drive forward over it, pick it up, grab it, and there might be another one. We can fight for it with other people, but all I have to do is concentrate on driving when I get it centered, I'm there. Now I'm ready to score, so I hit this button here, and at the same time I can be driving and getting into position, and uh, then we're ready to score. I can drop one, or I can drop all of them. so depending on where I'm, if I'm not properly aligned there. Okay, so that's uh, how the automation is used there. Now there's one more set of automation, which is the final uh, hanging maneuver. So if I, all the driver has to do is, is get in a position where he can do a, a, a line track, and when he's ready to go, he just hits this, and it will go into a line tracking mode, and automatically uh, set up for the, the final hang. My batteries are getting a little low, so it's operating slow. Okay, that's it for automation. Uh, visit my blog and you can read a little bit more about how the software accomplishes all this.